Hello. I'm thinking about disgust and what we find disgusting. It's interesting to note that oftentimes our reaction of disgust is almost instantaneous, is out of our control. It comes from within. We move back in horror from that which repels us, from that which we find gross. So, for example, if you are walking along a forest track and in your way you find the rotting carcass of some kind of mammalian well it is highly likely you will at the very least proceed with caution you won't dive into the rotting flesh you won't fondle the maggots with your bare hands you won't push your nose into the disgusting odors of the bloated horrifying mess and it's obvious why you won't do that you have an innate guide within you that serves to try and protect you to protect the life that is within you to protect life so you will recoil you will avoid that which you see as a threat to your life to life and as I have mentioned it is instantaneous it is out of your control for the most part and as antinatalists this is something we face people recoil people step back people go on the attack as soon as they hear anything which attacks life at its core it is like they are disgusted by the notion it is like one of those reflex actions unthinking unconscious without reason without logic well there is a reason <clears throat> there is reason in protecting yourself but what I mean is it's not highbrow intellectualism it's not deep thought it's primary primary it's a primordial action and this is a difficulty people are on autopilot day to day in their day to day affairs for the most part and when they come across an antinatalist video, speech meme whatever well it is likely they may well recoil dismiss it 
using the same rudimentary part of their brain that springs back in disgust when they face anything which could be a threat to their life. Because we are mere vessels, mere vessels for the DNA molecule, the advancement of the DNA molecule. That's who is governing the ship. And it doesn't care about the consequences of where it's sailing because it doesn't think about anything. It has no thoughts. It only tries to advance, to move forward. And it's interesting to think about how people recoil, people attack, people are aghast, people are disgusted by antinatalist content. And they attack us. And sometimes I think it's a little bit like, well, not completely, but it's a little bit like people who attack crime by you know, beating up the the marijuana dealer or um, kicking the beggar or, you know, lynching the petty criminal. They don't go to who is running the cartel, the, <laughs> the fat cat, the monster, the godfather. No, they busy themselves with the desperados on the street, the obvious. And they don't tackle that which is not so obvious. Because that takes effort. And so they view us as the petty criminals, the criminals life's criminals causing perhaps disharmony <laughs> in their trivial facile Disney notions of reality that aren't grounded in fact and they attack us they call us names they recoil, they avoid. They run away. But they don't go after the jugular of the godfather of all of this. Life itself. The replicating DNA molecule. The crime lord. Satan himself that traps you traps your conscious experience imprisons you in a deterministic environment where you will be disgusted where you will suffer and you will die thank you Thank you for listening.